One initiative in government's project Future Portfolio aims to put the Cayman Islands on the knife's edge of technology. The e-government project promises to alleviate headaches for customers sick of standing in queues and provide interconnectivity for civil servants across different departments. Cayman 27's Joe Avery explains. As I drive in, there's normally always a line outside the immigration department waiting to get in. Director Ian Tibbet says those queues are a daily reminder of why he's working to implement a new e-government platform. It's largely about out, out making services available to the customer and making them the customer greater control and efficiency both from the customer's perspective and from the government perspective. He says the e-government project aims to create a digital one-stop shop for a variety of services across a wide spectrum of government entities. A far cry from today's e-government with roughly a hundred separate websites offering different services. So you may have to go to the immigration website to get a certain service for trade and business, for example. Um, so one of the first things is a service portal where you can access See a, get a, access to a catalog of services from government. Critical to the plan, modeled after an approach pioneered by the Estonian government, is an electronic ID card system. We only rely on things you know, passwords, usernames, you know, pin codes, etc. There's, there's no second factor to that authentication with something you have or something you are. Um, and that's where the ID card type thing comes in. But unlike the Estonian system, the EID card won't be mandatory. We want to make sure that people don't, uh, you know, certain at this stage, have the impression that this is something that we're going to force on them. And he predicts even those who prefer face-to-face -face interaction will see tangible benefits from e-government. Even the persons that do want to come face-to-face, -face, it's a lot. It's going to be a shorter line. It's going to be less people. Joe Avery, Cayman 27. Mr. Tibbet says e-government will actually reduce the amount of information government has about an individual because it will only have to be put in the system once.